I'm Cass Turnbull from Plant Amnesty, and I'm going to tell you about pruning Japanese lace leaf maples. The most important thing to understand about your Japanese lace leaf maple is you can't keep it shorter and you can't keep it less wide uh, without messing it up. What you can do is make it much more elegant and beautiful by taking out the dead leaves in the spring. In the spring, by which I mean like February in the Pacific Northwest, you'll come out and your, your shrub tree will be clogged with dead leaves and you just rake your fingers through to get out the dead leaves. And that's pretty much 90% of what needs to happen. Then you take out little tiny bits of dead wood. You'll know it's dead by the fact that it's gray. And sometimes you can just snap it out with your fingers. Other times you need to use a really good pair of hand pruners. Don't get those cheap homeowner models. Spend a lot of money to get the good kind. Uh, and make nice clean cuts. Don't leave stubs. And then you can also thin it out, by which I mean you take out um, not so much the crossing rubbing branches, because everything in a Japanese lace leaf maple crosses and rubs. You work from the bottom up and the inside out uh, and take out um, branches that wander too far from where they started. You take out uh, branches that are too straight. A lot of times you take off some of the lower branches because they're the ones that are uh, contributing to it uh, being on the ground, which you don't want. You can also um, raise your Japanese lace leaf maple so you know she isn't dragging her skirt in the mud. I'll give you an example. So if this is your lace leaf maple and the bottom part is on the ground, you follow it back up till it meets a side branch which is already higher and you cut it off to there, and I'm gonna cut this one off to there, and now it's not dragging in the mud. Uh, if you wanna find out more about Japanese lace leaf maple, there's a longer version of this in the Plant Amnesty channel uh, under Japanese garden pruning.